All right, what's good, everybody? So, you know how you can usually see the mountains pretty damn crazy from my apartment? Um, well, yeah, most of BC is on fire right now, and the levels of smoke out here are insane. You just gotta see this for yourself. Okay, so it's been a long time coming, but I need to do a good sneaker cleaning. And uh, I mean, I've been wearing the heck out of all my Yeezys and I'm just gonna do a couple pairs of them because I got the cream whites dirty first day wearing them. The bottoms of my zebras are horrendously dirty because I was wearing these essentially as like hiking shoes when I got to my homie's place. And uh, funny shit. As soon as we got to homies, I was wearing the zebras, and uh, I was, I mean, I'm fine wearing those things everywhere. I've been wearing those things to parking garages, dirt, grass, pretty much everything, but uh, I almost had the piss yellow Yeezys early. Because, uh, but he's got a new dog that's quite young, and he gets a little excited rather easily, and uh, he pre-warned me about it, and he was just like, just so you know, dog might be a little excited when you guys show up, so, just pre-warning, so. As he opened the door, I put my bag down, just as a little bit of a barrier, and dog came out running, just pissing, full-fledged pissing, oh, and he was coming straight for me. Hops over my bag, and I just watched a couple droplets bounce onto my bag, and then the dog stops beside me and basically just unleashes this massive piss right beside my zebras. So, I for sure thought I almost had piss yellow Yeezys, but then I just kind of laughed it off, because it was just like, well, nothing happened. He, Made a big puddle beside me, but that was about it. So all my summer kicks are a little bit dirty, so uh, let's just go clean them up here. Just little tangent story there. So for this, you basically just need a few simple things. Your Jason Mark cleaner with brush, of course, or whatever shoe cleaner that you're gonna be using, whether it be Crep, whether it be Jason Mark, whether it be any of the other ones. Just a little bowl, fill that guy up with some water. A little towel to wipe down what you're cleaning. A large towel to lay down just to keep everything a little bit drier. Makes your cleanup a little bit easier. And yeah, that's all you need. So I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way, get everything laid down and uh, we'll get started. Some of these need a good clean. towel on wherever your workspace is. That's gonna help you in the long run as far as just general cleanup and stuff. That's pretty much just the exact main reason for that. So get yourself your bowl, just a standard kitchen bowl, a little cereal bowl works perfectly fine. Fill that guy up with some room temperature water. Give it a, you know, a few generous squirts of your Jason Mark or whatever cleaner that you're using. Basically stir that stuff around with a brush a little bit and go to town. Starting off with your sole on the rubber stuff because that's what you're gonna wanna use this brush for. It's a bit more of a harder bristle brush. Use that one on your soles. Basically, yeah, just scrub back and forth, bunch of different directions, make sure you're getting all the little nooks and crannies of whatever sole that you're cleaning. This one here being my V2s because I haven't actually cleaned these zebras since I got them, so. Yeah, they kind of need it. Give them these things the love they deserve, so scrub those up and then just use that smaller towel that I had mentioned before. Wipe away their leftover Jason Mark bubbles, get that good suds off of there. Yeah, that's pretty much all you need. You just scrub it, suds it up, wipe it away, and there you go. So move on to the next part. I'm gonna do the, the next side of the sole and then uh, move my way to the bottom with that exposed boost where you can see exactly how gross these things were getting. Look at the toe of this thing, let alone the boost window. So you can see, you can see that these things were getting pretty damn gnarly. So your same method as before, just scrub, suds, wipe away. A little trick for this one because there's a bunch of little grooves in the bottom of the V2s is you can just take it over to the sink and then basically just rinse it off. It'll help get a bunch of the soap and stuff out of there.
Yeah, I did try this brush out on the prime knit and I will not recommend the harder bristled brush on your prime knit. It'll end up fuzzing up the prime knit a little bit. So I needed to try it out for myself. So I, I tried it out here. up switching over to the toothbrush. The toothbrush works perfectly. So I would recommend the soft bristle brush like a toothbrush or something of that nature if you don't have one. And that's your best way to basically clean your prime net. So I switched over to my V2 creams because those actually from like the first time I wore them I got the toe box nice and dirty from the inside of the car near the pedal array in uh, near the accelerator. So let's give these a clean. I switched over to the toothbrush and I'm glad that I did because I feel that the hard bristle brush might, I wouldn't have necessarily done damage, but it would have fuzzed up the prime net a bit. So scrub that out and suds it up and wipe away. And I'm only gonna clean a little portion of these just to kind of show you the before and afters. And as you can see that it's, it's working pretty, 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 pretty. Works pretty darn good for not putting in crazy amounts of work. So, I also did some uncaged Ultra Boost, just cleaned up the outside of the boost because those things are getting pretty damn dirty. Those things are my summertime beaters. And same thing with my CS2s, Shock Pinks, because I've been wearing the hell out of those bad boys. So, it was uh, good just clean up the boost on those. So I only did half the soles here just to kind of show you the thing. I'll do the rest of them uh, after it's cooled off a little bit because this smoke is making shit a bit hot. But, uh, yeah. So that's pretty much the basics of cleaning cleaning your shit with Jason Mark or whatever cleaner you use. But I really like the Jason Mark stuff. It has a, has a quite delicious smell. That and then it's just easy as heck as you can see. It was super easy to do that in a few steps. Three steps if you will. And uh, got that boost all cleaned up. It's nice that I only had to clean off some dirt and it wasn't actually some piss. As much as I want those piss yellow Yeezys, I think I'd like to get them the legitimate way. So what I was trying to say there while my microphone was off was going to that sushi joint on the island and getting that bomb ass ramen. I, I figured I needed to step up my ramen game. So I've been working hard on, not really that hard to be honest, but I've been working on spicing up my ramen with a few little uh, ingredients here and there and making that shit tasty as fuck. Nice tasty meal for a couple bucks. Not too shabs. What do you like in your ramen? Mm -hmm. So there's so much smoke right now due to the crazy forest fires that are going on within BC that I can't even see the mountains right now and I'm actually like was wondering why my eyes were starting to get a little like irritated and stuff and it was the fact that I had my door open and that there's such poor air quality out here right now because BC's burning up. My heart goes out to all the people who've already lost their property or had their shit be threatened because this is absolutely crazy. Like, I mean, I know it's part of what we get for living within like a massive forest, but yeah, this shit's crazy. No, dude. Holy. Slow down. Holy. Yeah, so just a bit of a bit more of a low-key day today, just kind of kicking around the place, cleaned up some boost, that stuff that really freaking needed it, and uh, did a bunch of emails and work on some future merch collections. I didn't get to talk to you guys before we did the drop of the boost head collection. I know a bunch of you did pick that shit up though. Thank you everybody that did. All my homies on Twitter and shit, you know what's up. I'll give you a little preview of that shit right here. And uh, if you want to show some support to me and uh, my clothing company, this channel, anything of that nature, head on over, pick up one of those tees. And I also even got a massive back to school sale going on over at BC Plugs right now for 35% off your entire order. So check it out for me some support if you want to do. And uh, I look forward to seeing y'all in the next vlog. So find your passion, great dreams, and let's get it, family.